This is Boeing Field, located adjacent to Interstate 5, just south of the Georgetown neighborhood. It is where commercial planes undergo the last of their maintenance before being sold off to the airlines. The Boeing Company was founded in 1910 along the Duwamish River. During the outbreak of World War I, Boeing began making warplanes out of the local spruce trees that once dominated the area. Since then, the company has continued to sell its machines to the U.S. military and commercial airlines. Boeing has facilities all over the country, and its headquarters are now in Chicago. It employs nearly 70,000 people in the Seattle area, many of whom work at Boeing's production facility in Everett. It is the largest employer in the region, and is often championed by the media as the savior of the local economy. The Boeing Capital Corporation is located in Renton, provides financing to commercial aircraft customers, and facilitates the sale of Boeing products. A mile to the north is the Renton Manufacturing Site. While kids play football across the Cedar River, Boeing manufactures military aircraft. In 2011, the company made just over $4 billion in profit. It is the most successful company ever born out of Seattle. A young man named Thomas Pinchon begins working for Boeing. He is put to work writing technical papers for the company and manages to place the following sentence in a manual for installing an IM-99A missile. The IM-99A missile is a continuation of the rocket technology Boeing acquired from the Nazis at the end of the Second World War. At work, Thomas is able to read the original V-2 schematics composed by the fascist engineers and uses this information in his 1973 novel, Gravity's Rainbow. Nazi Germany's prize secret, the deadly V-2 rocket bomb, is assembled by U.S. engineers for testing. Rivaling the atom bomb in importance, the 46 feet of death and destruction is set in place by an ingenious elevating boom at White Sands Proving Ground near Las Cruces, New Mexico. Parts to make up 100 V-2s were brought from Germany, and Proving Ground officers are carrying on experiments involving war and peace uses. In this test, the warhead is replaced by scientific instruments. At a concrete block house, walls 10 feet thick, and a roof 27 feet thick miles above the... Well, I think Dr. King, uh, some of the things he thought about back then, we're starting to see uh, having matured today. We're starting to see the benefits of it. We're starting to realize them, the content of their character rather than the color of their skin. I mean, I think that resonates today as companies like Boeing really strive to improve their diversity to, to produce a culture of inclusion where you know, differences are really valued and they're leveraged to, to help us to, to be better companies. Boeing carries on the fascist program of technical dominance and maximum efficiency. It strives to dominate the land, the sky, and the water with its weapons and planes. It's what goes into making an airplane environmentally progressive. Boeing's plan of combining 10 environmentally conscious initiatives on a single plane. It's an effort that Boeing is fully aligned with the forces of death. It provides them with their arms and allows them to control the world. Commercial airliners that Boeing produces fill the skies with poisons and deliver business people to their international destinations. Some of the business people are looking to buy or sell the latest military technology to each other. That's why we're here. In the process, we have these business people become rich. Apache helicopter deployed around the world provides customers exactly what they need to accomplish their mission. Just the missile. Our food includes the entire launching system and a robot training program for the warfighter. Boeing 
Meanwhile, the fastest technology is passed from hand to hand until it arrives over the jungles of Colombia or in the mountains of Afghanistan. This technology is used to liquidate rebel populations and eradicate all resistance. As the years progress, Boeing will continue to refine this military technology and make it more efficient at killing people and ravaging the land. Boeing is the absolute end of life. It carries within its facilities horrors beyond the imagination. It's born out of that age-old human trait, known as curiosity. With a demonstrated missile performance above 90%. There is nothing redeeming about the company, and its sole purpose is to slave the planet. Every several years, there is a scandal in newspapers and the mainstream media involving the threat of Boeing workers losing their jobs. These crises are always threatening to cripple the Seattle economy, and in the end, they never do. But through the process of supporting Boeing workers, the public gives its consent and approval to people employed by a conscious company. This is the most relevant, innovative, and accurate technology. Twelve miles at sea, a familiar-looking small helicopter comes in for a landing. Perfect touchdown. Yet something is different. No pilot is at the control. You actually program around on a computer and you upload it. And once you upload it to the aircraft, it goes. The fate of all work is never more clearly seen than the image of a worker producing a machine that is operated by no one. Human judgment in a dynamically changing scenario. Boeing has already built the shells for the first autonomous computers. They must now reduce all humans into computers and plug them into the digital world and assign a new place. Humans continue to feed these computer systems with the input they need to become smarter. Soon enough, there will be nothing left of these people. Doing the same thing over and over again. This is an unmanned stealth bomber created by Boeing. Boeing is helping to build an autonomous machine army to control the sky, the water, and the air. One where it helps to have everybody playing a movie at the same time, everybody playing a game at the same time. And a brave good idea to work with the new product that you've never used before. And the beat rows barely in the night. It's like butter, it's the texture. This is all very real. Thanks to Boeing's deep expertise in unmanned systems and the versatility that defines this helicopter, the unmanned little bird has demonstrated its ability to meet the ever-changing needs of potential customers again and again. It's just this phenomenal little aircraft that just keeps on trucking. It's quite amazing. This can all be stopped. I need to know how Skynet gets built. Who's responsible? In three years, Cyberden will become the largest supplier of military computer systems. All stealth bombers are upgraded with Cyberden computers becoming fully unmanned. Afterwards, we deploy with a perfect operational record. The Skynet funding bill is passed. The system goes online on August 4, 1997. Human decisions are removed from strategic defense. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. In a panic, they try to pull the plug. Okay, it's a genius. It's a kid who can automate his Microsoft.